In this video, we will be seeing how to create some very real looking talking AI avatars in a way that you can even take your own photograph and make an AI twin out of it, which can do any sort of a talking job or any other video production activity on your behalf. For example, let's say that this person wants to start a YouTube channel, but they're very camera shy. So how can they create something like this? I was too shy to come in front of the camera. So now my AI twin does that job for me. Yes, believe it or not, this is not real. Let's see how to create real looking avatars like this. So you can see that that looked very real. So let's see the process involved in it. We're going to be seeing the usage of around five to six different AI tools. The best part is almost all these tools can be used for free. Only one of these is going to be a completely paid tool, but that's going to be optional. So I'll show you that later. As always, the links to all the tools and the images are in the description. So you can follow along. The first thing I did was I went over to chat GPT upload the headshot of this man and typed in prompt to create a realistic image of this man sitting in a YouTube studio. And I got this really nice detailed prompt. So we are going to copy this. Now for the image generation, I'm using something that was just released a week back. This is a new AI image generator by Hicksfield AI called Hicksfield Soul. And this generator is absolutely amazing because it produces very realistic looking images and at the same time the creative side of it doesn't suffer so just look at the contrast the colors just the overall image quality is absolutely fantastic and the best part is just two days back on first july hicksfield have made this accessible even on the free account even though the generations are a bit slower but once you go over to hicksfield ai you've created an account make sure you go under create and hit image and then you're going to basically come over to this page under the model select hicksfield soul we're going to go in for an aspect ratio of 16 is to 9 since this will be converted into a video. Even though I can select high since I'm on the paid plan, which is high quality image, I'm still going to select basic because it's much faster and I've not seen too much of a difference. Also, you can change the model or the filter here. Right now, I'm going for the realistic model. However, in my future videos, I do plan to cover Hicksfield Soul in detail because they have some really amazing filters or models that you can use to create uh, different types of images, even like overexposed, something straight out of a digital cam, 2000s cameras, and selfie mode and all these things. So it's a pretty amazing tool, which I'll cover in details. So right now, I'm just going to select realistic since that is our objective when it comes to the real looking avatar. It only costs one credit. I'm going to hit generate and let's wait for the results. All right, so I generated around 12 of these images and you can see all of them look absolutely amazing. But the one that I liked the most was this one. So I'm going to hit download and proceed with this. Now we're going to be using this as one of our reference images along with the headshot of the man inside flux context to form an image exactly like this, but with our own man. Now you might be thinking, Kush, why can't we just directly use flux context along with the reference image? What's the need for Hicksfield soul? The answer to that is simply the creative parts of the image. For example, when I directly use flux context with the same prompt and the reference image of only the headshot of the man, I got results like this. And you can clearly see this doesn't compare to the quality of the image that we were getting with Hicksfield Soul. But how we can get the best of both the worlds is by using flux context, but using two reference images. The one that we got from Hicksfield Soul for the creative part and the second one being the headshot of the man. So basically we'll be able to put our own man in the Higgs field image. So how we do that is we go over to open art. This is something I've shown before in my videos, how to use uh, flux context with multiple reference images. In case you haven't seen my video on that, you can check out this one. I'll leave the link to that in the description, but basically make sure under model or character flux context is selected. I'm going to paste in the same prompt here. I'm going to set the number of images as four. But the most important thing is under Omni reference, I'm going to upload two particular images. One will be this new image that we have downloaded from Hicksfield Soul. And the second one is going to be the headshot of our man. Then we're going to go down and make sure the size is set again to widescreen 16 is to nine. And we're going to hit create. And let's wait for the results. And hopefully we should be able to get now a combination or the best of both the words. All right, so our four images are ready. And you can see that only in one of the images, it did not take into account the headshot. But in the other three images, we've got our own man. But the best part now is that we don't have that bad look which Flux Context was giving because it has also taken the other reference image into account from Higgsfield Soul. And now we've got something similar to what we were getting here. 
So you got the best of both the worlds this way. All right, so I repeated that same process because I really wanted even a better looking image. And finally, I got this one. But the only issue here was that sometimes when you use this multi-reference approach, the skin can just look a bit polished. So here what you can do is, remember I told you about one of the tools which is optional, but these days I'm really liking this tool called Enhancer AI, which can just get rid of that AI look inside your images. However, this can only be accessed on a paid plan, which will cost you around $9 a month and will allow you to edit 100 images. So I'm just gonna sign into my account here. And it's a very simple tool to use. It's literally a one-click job. I'm going to just upload my image here. And then I don't really need to change anything. Just scroll down and just make sure all these things are checked. That means it's asking us which are the things that you want to keep unchanged. So we're basically locking things that we don't want to change after we hit enhance skin. We basically only want the skin to change. So I've locked everything apart from skin. And then all I do is just hit the enhance skin button. It takes around 10 seconds for it to just give it that real look. All right, so our results are ready. So if I just expand this, you're gonna notice a very subtle difference. So you can see this is before. So just notice the area around the cheeks. It had that polished look. If I just go now, it just gets rid of that and you can start to see the texture on the skin. Like I said, this is an optional step. If you don't want to do it, you can directly proceed to the next step, which is going to be inside HeyGen AI, where we are going to make this person talk. So once you go to HeyGen AI and you create your free account, you can create up to three of these talking videos using the Avatar 4 version. So once you go here, you're going to go over to this option that says photo to video with Avatar, Avatar 4. Avatar 4 allows you to turn a single photo... Just hit the create video button and let's upload this photograph there. The next thing you need to do is write a script and select a pre-built voice that HeyGen AI has or a better option always is to just upload a recorded audio. And for this, I always suggest you use Levin Labs simply because this is the most realistic voiceover generator out there. So I've given the link to this very page which says text to speech. You can use this on a free account. Just type in the script. So here the script is, I was too shy to come in front of the camera. So now my AI twin does that job for me. Yes, believe it or not, this is not real. Let's see how to create real looking avatars like this. And here I'm using version three from Level Naps, the alpha version. And this just adds great amount of emotion in your voiceover. So it feels very real, doesn't have that robotic feel. And for the voice, you can select the type of accent that you're going in for. For example, I just typed in Brazilian man and once you do that, you'll be able to just go through some voices, select a voice that you like. And in my case, that was uh, Eduardo Hubi. And I selected this particular voice. Then I hit generate speech. And let me show you the voiceover that I got, which I really liked. I was too shy to come in front of the camera. So now my AI twin does the job for me. Yes, believe it or not, this is not real. Let's see how to create real looking avatars like this. Right, you can see that sounds really nice. And once you download such an audio, you can go back to HeyGen and then you can upload it right here. So let me do that. And our audio here is ready. If we're gonna hit add audio, make sure more expressive motion is checked. This is very important to get that realism in the movements. And that's about it. You don't really need, need to do anything else. We're just gonna hit generate video and let's wait for the results. I was too shy to come in front of the camera. So now my AI twin does that job for me. Yes, believe it or not, this is not real. Let's see how to create real looking avatars like this. So you can see here the lip syncing is amazing. The movement is pretty good. And sometimes you just have to go for two or three tries before you get something you really like. For example, the first generation I had got here, I think was much superior than this one. So let's also just see this. I was too shy to come in front of the camera, so now my AI twin does that job for me. Yes, believe it or not, this is not real. Let's see how to create real looking avatars like this. I mean, just real looking. Just that expression. I mean, this is fantastic. We've not seen anything like this before. I also want to show you the results I got from another lip syncing tool by Hicksfield, which is Hicksfield Speak, and the results weren't that great. So this is Hicksfield Speak, which exactly works in the same way. It's a competitor to HeyGen AI. So I'm just going to play this. 
was too shy to come in front of the camera. So now my AI twin does that job for me. Yes, believe it or not, this is not real. Let's see how to create real looking avatars like this. So the movement was pretty good, but the voice was completely out of sync. Also, it just adds back that polished look, which Heijin does uh, to the skin. So in my opinion, till now, Heijin is definitely the best avatar making tool out there. But in one of my future videos, I do plan to do a comparison between five of the most popular lip syncing tools out there. So make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on my experiments when it comes to the AI image and video editing world. And in case this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like. And I will see you next time.